More than five years after Hurricane Sandy, the Surfside Gardens Community Center in Coney Island remains a casualty of the storm, which damaged the center, forcing it to close. Local parent Tasheen Knight says the Surfside Gardens Center is sorely missed. It's just fun filled, a lot of activities, a lot of happiness. The kids was their safe place. They came here, they, they talked their problems out with the counselors. It just was it's like a safe haven for the kids. Before Sandy, community service organization HeartShare ran programs for low income families here. For the time being, some of the programs continue at PS288 next door. But HeartShare says that in this neighborhood, the lack of an after-school safe space for teens puts them at serious risk. They end up being in the wrong place at the wrong time, doing the wrong things. They've been asking questions, uh, when is it going to get open, because it, it services them, it takes them off the street. They give them a place um, they can feel safe. The facility is owned by New York City Housing Authority, or NYCHA. HeartShare leaders say NYCHA only began rebuilding in the past year. It's been a long time, and our community deserves better. Though NYCHA did not officially respond to a Currents News inquiry about the reconstruction, they did give access to the site. Inside, there appears to be a lot of progress on the reconstruction, but HeartShare says this work is only one step in reopening the center, and that NYCHA has given no information on when the playground will be rebuilt. I would say, NYCHA, please push forward and have this community center open. If they could put a, a rush on it because um, our kids is the one that's affected by it, so they need to be the ones that we pay more attention to. HeartShare has launched a social media campaign calling on the city to finish bringing back Surfside Gardens Community Center under the hashtag FixSurfside. In Coney Island, Conrad Aderer, Currents News.